Hi. Okay. So I bought this DC to DC converter a long time ago and I found it just now and the thing is that I don't remember what this is. I don't remember the characteristics like the voltage in, voltage out, power in, power out, current in, current out. So how can I know these things? I will try to explain. By the way, there is no number on the board itself, so there is no clue what this is. So how can I know? I will explain and we will try it, of course. So first thing, of course, to, to notice is the input capacitor and output capacitor. So since this is the inside, it is written on the LCD, if you will notice, here you can see that it is in, so probably this is the in capacitor, this is the input connector, and you have here MOSFET and LCD and another MOSFET or a chip or something with high current because it has an heatsink. And we have the output capacitors, and by the way, we have a coil here. I guess this coil is the current sense coil, meaning by the voltage and, uh, and the processors that measure the voltage, it determines the current out. And it is interesting to know how accurate it is. Anyway, we look at the input capacitors, like this one. And if you will notice, this is 35 volts and the output is also 35 volt. So I assume that the input voltage can be about 30 volt or maybe 35. 35 is a little close to the limit of the capacitor so it is not recommended. So I am almost sure that this is 30 volt to 30 volt DC to DC. About the current I really can't know but uh, I can assume because the coil has a very wide, uh, a very uh, wide uh, wire, so I can guess that this is at least three amps or five amps, maybe even more. I really don't know, but I can also look because, uh, as I remember, this has a current limit when I read it. So of course I can test what is the current limit, the maximum that I can put. And by this I can determine uh, what it is. By the way, there is a USB out. I don't know if the USB is always 5 volt. Or it is the voltage that is going to the connector. It can be measured uh, very easily. Just need to connect and see if the output here are the same wire here. And also we have your buttons. The down, up and stop and basically this is all so because i really don't know any uh, of the characteristic so let's try to turn it on and then we'll see what we have so i have here a 12 volt cable i can use it as an input okay nothing has exploded yet so we can see we have a nice LCD display. We have a CV voltage and amp, which is of course the current. So let's see, aha, it is already set to the maximum. So this is 31 volt is the maximum voltage out. What current I really don't know. And uh, maybe if I will turn it on aha now it is it should uh, give voltage out let's see we'll check with the fluke if it is accurate how do i put the fluke to the screen so 31 volt so this is quite accurate how do i set the current limit ah constant volt constant voltage maybe I have a constant current I don't know ah. no this is the up down this is the on off and there is no there is missing button here <laughs> maybe the set button 
and it did not come because no ah yeah yeah <laughs> you see it did fell on the shipping so we have another button here <laughs> so let's connect the new button and probably this is the set for the current level I don't understand the Chinese because it looks like they didn't very well test it during the shipping oh. okay so back to our game still working and not exploding set aha so we have watt ampere hour wow nice we have few things about this ah now is constant current do you see it so let's see constant current and then stop but constant current and how do I set the constant current ah this is the maximum so 4.1 amp <laughs> so this is the maximum level it can deliver out this is nice so we have here a current limit so this is why I bought the model it can be like an accurate charger for battery you can use it because you can use the current level and the voltage level so you can set off for lithium for example 4.2 volt 1 amp and then it will charge with this power meter let's see by the way if it is working so I will search for a lithium cell and we will try to see if everything is as expected so I need to connect two wires to the output and to limit uh, the voltage I will already limit the voltage to 4.4 volts oh this take a long time never mind you just need to do it once and then you're good to go So let's put about 3.9 and now I will search for a cell. So I found a battery. I think this is a 9 volt scooter battery and I have the wire so now maybe I will plug the power and I've already put some solder paste in order to solder it this is just for our demo purpose so this is the plus, this is the minus yes we can see it as I connect the voltage of the cell 3.5 this is accurate because I've tested it so now we'll go uh, to the current limit and oh four amp is of course is too much so maybe we will take it down yes I will take it down to one amp and then we will start to charge and see how it goes and of course we will measure the count to see how accurate it is so maybe let's put one point fifteen and then we'll go to the on ah what is our voltage the voltage setting Oh, this is nice. It is measuring all the data. 
I have no idea it is stopped now I just want to check the voltage constant current how do I move to the voltage okay constant no constant current so how do I set the voltage now ah this is the voltage okay so now now it is on so it looks like it is charging now let's measure the accuracy look how accurate this is this is the unity ut203 showing 1.18 1.17 amps and this is 1.16 it's almost the same it can be calibration of this one or this one so I'm pretty impressed and amazed let's also check the voltage accuracy I will put a measuring on the battery itself 3.6 this is also pretty impressive about 4 millivolt change between my fluke and the measurement one thing I am very disappointed that I don't remember <laughs> where I bought this guy but if you will search for current uh, current limit and voltage limit DC to DC converter so you will find it okay pretty impressive once other things that I want to check ah we checked already that it is also a boost because in the 12 volt we seen 31 on my meter it means that this is back boost converter hope you enjoy this is all thank you and see you next time